we are going to discuss about latent heat of fusion we are considering a solid and we are going to heat the solid when we are heating a solid what is going to happen the temperature of solid will increase and finally it will convert into liquid the kinetic energy of each particle will increase and the particles become free to move and it is going to convert into liquid it is a process the name of that process is melting here we are going to compare the process of melting and change in temperature we are heating it when we are heating the solid the temperature is 27 degrees celsius and when we are heating the solid the temperature is going to increase here you need to observe the change in temperature at the same time you need to observe the change in solid the solid is going to convert into liquid and that liquid is going to fill in this conical flask you need to observe change in temperature and the process of conversion of solid into liquid what's your observation in this region the temperature remains same when solid started to convert into liquid the temperature remains same what is the reason behind it the temperature is same we are going to discuss the reason behind it when a solid melts its temperature remains the same so where does the heat energy go solid is converting into liquid when solid is converting into liquid it requires some amount of energy to overcome the attractive force between the particle there we know that there are attractive forces between the particles of solid there is a strong attractive force if there is a strong attractive force the particle needs heat to overcome this attractive force at the time of change of state all the heat energy attained by that particle is used by the particle to change the state the particle need to overcome the force of attraction heat energy used by solid to change its state to liquid by overcoming force of attraction between the particles of matter the particles of matter are closely packed and there is a strong force of attraction between the particle if we are giving heat that heat energy first it will increase the temperature and at the time at the time of change of state that heat energy used by the particle to overcome used by the solid to overcome the force of attraction between the particles of matter that time the temperature remains same there's a strong force of interaction between the particle latent heat of fusion now we can discuss about latent heat of fusion we are doing the same experiment here we are taking 1 kg of solid the quantity is very important here we are taking 1 kg of solid and atmospheric pressure is normal it is normal atmospheric pressure there is no change in atmospheric pressure and we are heating you need to observe that change in temperature and the change of state the same observation the temperature is same here at this temperature which amount of heat we are giving that amount of heat is known as latent heat of fusion the amount of heat required by 1 kg of solid to convert to liquid at atmospheric pressure and melting point it is known as latent heat of fusion 40 degrees celsius is a melting point here that's why the solid is converting into liquid at 40 degrees celsius temperature is same the same temperature means it is melting point at melting point the temperature remains same at that time all amount of heat acquired by the solid is used by the solid to convert its state now we can define latent heat of fusion the amount of heat energy that is required to change 1 kg of a solid into liquid at atmospheric pressure and its melting point is known as latent heat of fusion subscribe our channel for getting instant notification of sample paper solution and support us for providing free online classes to everyone www.winpointonlineclasses.com